Entering the last day of the first half, the Pelicans led the Carolina League South Division by one game over the Charleston River Dogs. To clinch a playoff spot, they either needed to win against the Canapolis Cannonballers or rely on the Columbia Fireflies to beat the River Dogs. No one going into that season, like going into that series, like we had to take care of our business. As long as we did that, we were going to win. But got in left field tonight. He was in left field last night as well. Again, three for four night last night with three RBIs. Begon cuts on the 1-0, lifts it high in the air, right field, chasing after it is Gladney. He looks up and it's out of here. Solo shot for Ezekiel Pagan. With an early lead, the Birds felt confident knowing their ace in Luis Devers was on the mound. We had Devers on the mound, which he's been shoving all, I mean, every outing he's been shoving all year. So it was, uh, it was, it was pretty fun. Everybody was pretty loose. We kind of knew that, um, it was in our hands, you know, if we played our game that we were gonna we were gonna come out with a win. You know, Devers being one, like I'd never think he would be one to back down from a challenge. You know, he takes adversity, he faces it head on, and then he goes from that. In the bottom of the second, Devers started facing adversity that would last his entire six inning start. Blasted into left field, going back is Pagan, he'll look up and it's a tie ball game. First pitch to Polanco, lifted into right center field, that'll drop and roll. Rounding third, headed home is Wilfred Veras, he'll score on the play. Swung on, grounder up the middle, past the diving second baseman Uma, into center field for a base hit. Rounding third, headed home on the play is Polanco, played the plate, he's safe. However, down in Charleston, the Fireflies were doing their part as they took a 2-0 lead against the River Dogs. Williams to Spikes, to Seymour, the 2-2 pitch. Fly ball into right center field. Coming in is Mason Hour, and he drops in front of him. And things went from bad to worse for Devers and the Pelicans. Glad he lifts one into left field. Going back is Pagani. It's on the Burman out of here. It's now a four and one a ball game. Spaces are loaded. Here's first pitch. Swung on grounder through the hole. It's a diving effort by the shortstop Madej. But everyone's going to be safe. The Camaro Weaver's going to head home. He's played the plate. He is safe. Two runs will score. Yeah, kind of like, well, crap. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's definitely probably like a sense of, oh, well, like that didn't go our way. But, you know, like the morale in the dugout was still pretty high. The mentality in the guys is, hey, guys, never ever quit. Let's go. Let's go. 0-1 from Dollander, swung on, it's tapped towards the shortstop Sanchez, he'll charge in, make the play, he has no play. 1-0, swung on, lifted in the air into left field, chasing after it is Benjamin Bailey as well as Cabrera Weaver, they look up and it's out of here. Two-run shot for Felix Stevens, and now Myrtle Beach has closed the gap, 6-5 your score here in Canapolis. Last time up had a single in the seventh. First pitch from Rigo. Grounder past the third baseman. Kath down the line and left. Rounding third headed home on the play is Ethan Hearn. Rounding third headed for home is Wetzel. Throw comes in on the cutoff. Sliding in, he's safe. As each game went to the ninth inning, both scores were in the Pelicans' favor. After two strikeouts to begin the inning, Charleston started to rally. 1-1 one, one pitch to Bobby Seymour. Fly ball into center field, going back Eric Pena. He's going to turn, and that one hits off the wall. Bobby Seymour gets into second base. And here's the 0-2. Blooper into center field, and he's going to play that on a bounce. Rounding third and heading home is Bobby Seymour. That's going to be cut off, and an RBI single for Shane Sasaki. As the River Dogs got going, Columbia made a pitching change. Meanwhile, Canapolis was rallying themselves against Pelicans closer, Jozan Okendo. Runners are going to advance on the play. It'll be a wild pitch. And then Charleston completed their comeback. The right field. Back he goes. It's gone! It's gone! Luis Leon walks it off in the bottom of the ninth inning. And the River Dogs win it and still have a chance to go to the playoffs. Kendo's up to offering. In the dirt, gets by her and gets back to the backstop on the play. It'll score James Beard. I knew that was part of it. I knew calling the slider there that, um, you know, there was a possible chance, there's ability. I mean, it can either go good or it can either go bad. You know, there's no reason to really be nervous about it. It is, uh, it is struggle for me. It's a nine inning, two outs, two strikes, no balls, and wild pitch. 
that's not hard for me. You know, I was actually pretty relieved, like, because once we got out of the inning, it was like, all right, like, hey, we still have a shot. You know, my biggest message to him was just like, hey, dude, keep your head up. Like, we still have more to go. Like, you still, you're still pitching. So, like, don't let this last inning affect you. Regroup, refocus, go back out and do your thing. It was just gonna, we weren't gonna lose that game. It was just a mentality that every single guy going up into those at-bats and just grinding every single at-bat was, it was fun. In the 10th, the Pelicans had the go-ahead run on third with Ethan Hearn at the plate. Ethan Hearn will now dig in for the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. First pitch, lifted high and foul by Ethan Hearn. Oh, one big, so we're gonna miss from Ethan Hearn. 0-2, oh, 0-2. Oh, I don't know, I just went to a different mentality. I just wasn't gonna let that guy get me out. It just wasn't gonna happen, so. Ground to short, Wilbur Sanchez makes the play. Play at the plate, he's... Flopping around and they call him safe. And it's good play. Me, Fu, and Fu. I like his awesome. The thing is, I like it. Now with the lead, Okendo's mind was focused on one thing. It's a last inning. No more innings. It's a running on base. Second base, you know, it's a it's a innings. But it's a last inning. No more. The 1-0 grounded towards the second, the shortstop a day. Throwing a first is in time. Four out number three. And the Myrtle Beach Pelicans have clinched the South Division of the Carolina League in the first half. And they are going dancing in the playoff. That was awesome. That was, I mean, I'm getting chills right now thinking about it. Uh, it's, uh, that was fun. That's something I've always kind of dreamed about, especially being like a pro. Like, um, I love to win. That's something that's just kind of been the way I grew up. And being able to like clinch a spot to be able to go and win a ring is really fun.